Welcome to an Adhocracy Fedora Friday today. Happy Arbor Day. The tree of 40 fruits. Ooh, let's make our own. Okay, we'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm J.D. Melville. And I'm David Landine, and welcome to Anahocracy Fedora Friday, where we have fun, we play games, we don't work. Because we don't work. Oh, no, wait, we work, We work but just not on Fridays. Just not on Fridays. Nobody works on Fridays. Nobody should ever have to work on Fridays. That's right? What, just everybody should celebrate Fedora Friday. And, and while you're not working, no. uh, let us tell you about the 100 for 100 contest. It you can, is, what, like a week away? Yeah, they should start working on that. You should probably get on that. You've been, you've been thinking about it, ruminating on it. Time to deliver. Time to just execute those things um so uh, if you don't know what we're talking about 100, 100 for 100 contest um you could win 100 up to 100 dollars um for submitting it a, a drawing some art some calligraphy whatever you want uh click on this video Bing. uh to learn more about that we'll also have that at the end of the video so that you can go to that link as well yeah and so now that you've ruminated on that and you're gonna get going hold on because we have an episode to still do. Yeah. 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 So, um, you can start working on that after the episode. Unless yeah. you get inspiration, we know how it goes. Sam Van Aken. So, today's Arbor Day. So, we all talk about, what else? Trees. Oh, and what is this? Th this guy, Sam Van Aken. That's a very pop powerful name. Yeah. Uh, he is a contemporary artist who decided to do a tree art project. Now, when I was trying to figure out what should we talk about for Arbor Day, I thought about like the... People who would knit sweaters for trees. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you told me about, like, the whole um, people can, like, tie you, trees together. And then as they grow, they, like, grow together. Yeah, and you can make, pretty, like, a chair tree seat. A chair tree seat. Yeah. Chair tree seat. That's kind of like, okay, that's a hard thing to say. But, you know, and I started looking at that. But then I found this guy. And he is a guy who decided he wanted to create a tree art project, but different than everybody else. Okay. So in 2008... He started this project to create a multicolored blossom tree as an art project. So he's like, if I can graft things into trees, you know, like grafting where you, you take the you take like one branch from this tree and you put it on this tree and then it grows and, and then now it's like a... It may or may not grow, but you do different things to make sure that it, it you know, has its best chance of success. And... So he thought, thought like, if I can get trees that blossom and then I have all these different colored blossoms, that would look really cool. Oh, that would look cool. So he... He was trying to, he tried to figure out, okay, where can I get, he's, he's from New York, he wanted, that's where he wanted to do everything, he's like, where can I do this project that I need, like, fruit trees, because fruit trees have awesome blossoms. <laughs> awesome blossoms. <laughs> <laughs> and so fruit trees have these great blossoms, and they're multicolored, and he's like, okay, so if I can find fruit trees, but it turns out um, he was doing um, ro rock fruit, which is, like, it has a, a hard pit. Oh, okay. So these plums yeah. and... Peaches. Cherry. Uh, yeah, all those ones. Apricots. Mo most of those are in California. Like, the majority of them that are, are in the United States are in California. Oh, okay. So he decided, I'm going to... I had to look around. He found this orchard in, up, in, in New York, I think upstate New York, that had uh, tons of these fruit trees. That's just what he was looking for. And it was a... Like the national um, agricultural agriculture, it was like a science, like a government science project that they were just trying to preserve some of these older fruit trees that were going extinct. Some of these were like the very last ones. So he just, and they were running out of money. And so he bought it. And so oh. then he started taking all these branches and grafting them in and making his tree of 40 fruits. And there's a TED talk about this that you should watch. It's really cool. And he talks about why he was doing it and what, what, the, what the project is. And now they've been doing, uh, they, they have, he's planted a whole bunch of them and he's putting them in different parts of the, of the country because um, he wants to spread the, the joy of fruit. This is a cool project because it's both it delicious cool. and like, you know, artistic. It is. Because when they bloom, you get all these different colors and I haven't like. Should we show them what, the, what it looks like? Well, this is, the, this is an artist's rendition of what it could oh, look like. Okay. I haven't found I haven't been able to find one that actually has bloomed the way that this shows, but maybe I'm just too early because this was like back in 2014 they started. Okay, okay, so it's going to take getting, some time. Yeah, so so maybe, but um, there are there's some all over the country, so eventually we'll have these these trees. But you know what? If science can do this, 
I believe science can go further. Oh, how how much further? As far as we, as far as our imaginations. Okay. okay. To be cliche. No. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to design our own tree of forty fruits. But you know what? I know this guy right here. He 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 wants to go beyond fruit. Oh yeah, of course. He's he's not one to settle like. Oh, I like I, I love fruit, but I yeah. can't live on fruit alone. No, no, no. I need at would... least I need I need at least one branch that gives me some bread. Yeah, you're, some carbohydrates. That would be helpful for different many different reasons. That's what makes happy. me happy. Carbohydrates. I learned that pretty. Yeah. I did a cleanse. Yeah. So it did not go well. <laughs> I'm not I'm not I'm not who I am without <laughs> carbohydrates. Just just so you know. <laughs> So carbohydrate, hydrate. So what we're gonna do? We have this whiteboard back here, ta-da! And we are going to design our tree of forty foods. Oh! I believe that science will come to a time where we can grow anything, any type of food on trees. Okay. It'll be the tree of forty foods. Now it's important to look at both the artistic value and the nutritional value of your tree. Okay. But this is the tree you can plant in your backyard, and then it grows, and it has all your favorite foods on there. So, um. Why don't you go first and we can we can we can just you know, you gotta think about like structure. Okay, well. Okay. Does it have to be forty foods? No, it doesn't have to be forty. It can be okay. as many or as few as you would like. So we're gonna have to start with a base, right? Yeah, it's important to have a nice strong trunk to support all of your foods. This is a solid trunk. I'm um, just gonna take a guess and say carbohydrates. <laughs> I don't think anything really it comes from the trunk, right? Like the trunk oh, is true. just the trunk. Yeah, I guess so. so but, yeah. but what type of a tree is it? Um, you have to have your base tree. Uh, I don't know. What what would my base tree be? What do I eat? Uh, granola bars. Granola this is bar, a granola bar this tree. Is a, this is a granola bar tree. <laughs> granola. All right. I the the convenience of food is important to me. You can just tell, like just break off some of that, like the bark and the just, bark is just granola. Just granola. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have five branches. Okay, all right. Um, these are gonna go out. Um, this one's gonna kind of twist up this way, but this one comes from over here and twists up this way because uh -huh. you can't control nature. No, I mean you can you can control some of it, but. Yeah, you just gotta let let it grow the way it what it will, it wilt, it wilt or wilt not. <laughs> okay, that's my that's my tree. Okay, um, your granola tree. That's now, my granola let's tree. Let's add some branches onto this tree. Okay, so how would I? I do want fruit in my tree. Okay, because I eat a lot of fruit. You have a fruit branch. So this is my fruit branch. What type of the fruit do you have on that branch? Um, I'm gonna have to break it out. I, I I'm I'm starting on big branches. Okay, first. okay, big branches first. Um, so fruit. We're gonna go. Um, I'm gonna need some Mexican food. Your, your Mexican branch. Uh, that's my Mexican branch. Um, that of course will have uh, taquitos and mm -hmm. uh, chimichangas. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, this one. This one will be my my Chinese and Japanese. Um, what else do I need? That's well, you have dessert. Dessert. I, well, I have, uh, these are my uh, chips. Ah. Uh. And uh, spicy snacks. Those are those are my. Your flaming hot. Your uh. Your, my takis. Your takis. That's where my takis go. That's the taki branch. <laughs> uh. Okay, we might have to wait on that last branch. You're not gonna have a dessert branch? I don't know. I don't know if I want dessert. Uh, um, okay, last what branch. About, what about carbs? You all have your carb branch. Like, do you, any Italian? Any. Oh, Italian. Maybe this one is Italian Mexican. I'm gonna put those two together. And then this is Mama's cooking. Ah. Mom and my wife. Good luck, science. Yeah, <laughs> I'm asking for a lot. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna change colors now. Okay, uh, we're gonna go green. So on my fruit tree, of it would course, make sense for a tree. Yeah, uh, right here we're going to graft in. Um, of course, we need the apples. Um, a little further in, we need bananas. Uh huh. Um, I I do like uh, peaches. Good, good, okay, okay. And uh, pears. Ah. Both bananas.
Mad Speeches in Paris. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can, um, but we may just kind of put in some oranges as well. If if you if you can, <laughs> if you can, <laughs> we have a Chinese Japanese branch over here. You hey, can. I don't know what science can do in, in <laughs> a couple of years, right? If they can graft on Chinese and Japanese food. They can graft on oranges. <laughs> There are limitations to science, David Landy. <laughs> there are limitations. I Apparently, think... there are limitations to his imagination as well. <laughs> hey, I don't put the limitations there. Those things are freestanding. Uh, I, I don't know. Are there any other fruits? Oh, let's let's do kiwis because those are hilarious. <laughs> Just to add some comic value yeah, to your tree. Yeah, I mean, you always need a kiwi, right? Um, okay, the Italian and the Mexican tree. Um, we're going to graph in... Uh, Burritos. And I'm sorry if you like any specific type of burrito. This is going to be a carne asada burrito. That has a very specific. Um, we also need its cousin, the chimichanga. Now, my question is, do you believe that when these come off the tree, when you pick them, are they going to be hot? Or are they going to be like cold and you have to microwave them? I don't know. Whatever science can give me. I mean, either way, it's, it's yeah, cool. Yeah, no, it's still amazing. But... I mean, a hot chimichanga right off of a tree, it's going to be a little hard. You might have to, yeah. you know, a fruit. Sometimes you have to prepare well, fruit. Well, what if it, maybe it's like in like a shell and like it breaks. So yeah, just, yeah, it's like, but... yeah okay. Steam comes out. Uh, uh, loaded nachos. That's, com that's coming in a, uh, in a shell, of course. Yeah. Loaded nachos. Um, and then maybe, maybe just because I fell in love with, uh, what the Mexicans call caldo or soup, the Mexican soup. And then right at the end, uh, we're going to have a churro. Ah, I guess I could do like a trace leches cake there as well. Now, now there may have been something that you forgot on here that you may have want, may want to add another branch. Oh, I didn't do it. I, I have the Italian in there. Well, well. I think that you have a sushi branch. Uh, that's down here. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, there it is. Of course there's going to be a sushi okay. branch. Um, we're just going to say pasta. Okay. <laughs> just noodles this is, that this, just hang. This is just a free-for-all pasta tree. In fact, we covered something like that in our April Fool's Day um, last, last season. That's right. Um, okay, so for my mom, this kind of crosses over into the Mexican area. This is the uh, chicken enchilada. Ah, yes, the classic chicken enchilada. Green sauce or red sauce? Um, actually, it's a cream sauce. Is it? I mean... um, though I do love a, gr a green sauce. Mm. Um, my wife cooks a great uh, pork, like uh, pork roast, like a green uh, green chili pork roast. Roast. Roachist. Hmm. What else? I can. Th I think. I think up here you can put in some carbs. This is where some carbs. Right here will be some carbs. Now this is very high up, so you actually have to do work in order to get up there. Well, yeah, yeah. So. I can't. I can't make it low hanging fruit. <laughs> no, the healthy stuff is low hanging, and the sushi apparently. <laughs> um. Uh. What else? Is there anything else up there? Uh. Carbs. I forgot. More carbs. <laughs> Okay, chips and and spicy snacks. This is this is where the money money goes right here, right here on my like strong branch. We're gonna have takis, takis. Um, right here are some Pringles. Mhm. Mm okay. Okay. It's sort of a free for all. Like, sometimes they're original and I'm, I don't love them, but I eat them anyway because I'm not gonna waste the food. Yeah. No. Um. Are they going to grow in cans or are they going to grow individually? Um, the Pringles would probably grow in cans. You know, it's it's, it's kind of like a banana, right? Like you pull yeah. it open and. Yeah. Um, what other spicy things do I like? Um, um, are you going to have like a like a sauce, like a spicy sauce? Uh, we'll like... we'll do a we'll do a, a French onion dip. Okay. Okay. And then, of course, you need, with the French onion dip, some wavy lays. Uh -huh. It would only make sense. Like, Not a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the last thing on this, some kind of... Uh, are you going to have, like, sriracha or anything? like? Ooh, yeah, we're going to need... Um, this is going to be a free-for-all hot sauce. Um, 
it's it's just gonna grow as it will, like depending on uh-huh. you, you don't know. It's kind of like like it could Russian be roulette. Yeah, it could it could be sriracha, just in an unmarked bottle, which which would go nicely with pairing with with these things. But sometimes it's like a Trinidad moruga or like a scorpion pepper, right? Mm. Which probably do grow on trees. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, of course, on my Chinese Japanese branch uh, here. Um, Cause I love sushi. We're gonna go sushi, and that's again a free for all. Yeah. Sometimes I don't love it, but hey, it's good, right? Yeah. It's giving me some kind of a protein because somehow in the future trees will grow fish protein. <laughs> uh, right here <laughs> is, is like tree. a spicy chicken. You can have a ramen noodle, <laughs> like the ramen noodle. If it was real ramen, maybe. You know, I, I'm not a fan of, like, just, like, like I'll eat the, the regular cheap stuff, but... Well, it's your treat. You can put on whatever you want. Let's do a lo mein. Okay, okay. Because that's pretty good stuff. Yeah. Um, here's, like, a beef broccoli. Uh, here we got uh, some teriyaki. Um, and then to, uh, to, uh, end my tree here, um, hmm, some, uh, ginger to go with my sushi. Oh, yeah. Get some spices in there. Yeah. Just in case they don't come with spices. Because we will also be able to do, uh, roots, root, roots, roots, roots that grow roots on branches. Roots that grow on branches. Well, that's a good looking tree and a probably good tasting tree too. And then, uh, just, just for the halibut. Here's uh, me looking up at my tree. Got to have a nice big, just smiling with with, uh, with my carbs, of course. <laughs> and I'm probably fat by this time. So. <laughs> Good luck getting to those top carbs. But I guess. If science has invented a tree that grows all this food, they've probably invented a way to fly as well. And maybe they'll just fall down and I'll just be like, oh, carbs, and I'll just roll over to my tree. All right. Well, I guess it's my turn now. That's pretty nice, right? That's a really nice. Did you like the color, the way the colors kind of flowed? It, yeah. I mean, I would expected like the red to be more of the spicy snacks, but I, I, it's okay. 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 But I mean, we'll, we'll see how my tree does. Okay. So I've already drawn out my tree. Okay. I, um, and I will now walk you through my tree of, of 40 f- foods. Actually, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26 foods. <laughs> That's not as many as 40, but I mean, it's, it's probably, probably harder though. <laughs> 26 <laughs> foods is going to be harder than 40 fruits. All right. So. My trunk is peanut butter. That is kind of my go-to. I just like peanut butter. I feel like it does well with the majority of these branches. Maybe not that one. Actually, the rest of them it does. So that's why it works really well because it has, you know. So so is it, the, the question is like, is it crunchy or creamy? Oh, it's absolutely creamy. Creamy peanut butter. It's I feel creamy. like you're not a crunchy. I feel like, like the crunchy kind of. I, I'm a texture person. Like you don't I like. Don't you like, don't I like. I don't like the hard. Like the crunch. Like you're enjoying this really delicious, like sandwich. Just all smooth, and all of a sudden you like feel like you're about to crack a tooth on the on a peanut. Oh, I love the crunch. Oh, I don't. No. I love. I absolutely love having a little bit of a crunch. No, I not in peanut butter at least. Okay. 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 Well, how does it come out? Like, is it? Like... So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just take like a, a tap, like maple syrup. You just tap the tree, <laughs> and then and then you just just. just you know, it's gonna be like a frosting. Just take your take your peanut butter and you have your you have your bread. You're going spread it around. You got to turn oh, it off. It's an incredible tree already. It really is. So there's five branches on this tree. You have your fruit tree, your sandwich tree, your carbs tree, your dessert tree, and your snacks branch. I guess these are all branches, not trees, but your snack branch. You could survive under this tree. I absolutely could because you could just sit here. And then and just reach up and just take your take your snacks and eat them. Okay. And, you know, like you're reading a book and you just reach up and you know take some some. Uh, we'll get into what they are in just a little bit. <laughs> so let's start with the fruit, the fruit branch. Fruits, yeah. Um, you have uh, strawberries because all of these I feel like none of them. There may be one, maybe two. 
that grow on actual trees. These are mainly like bush fruits. Okay. They're like, like strawberries, which don't grow on trees. Raspberries. They're also a bush. Peaches. Peaches are a tree. Cuties. Like the little, yeah, <laughs> the brand name. <laughs> that's, that's right. I don't want any other brands. I only want the cutie brand. Okay. 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 <laughs> I don't know. And, and strangely enough, on the very tip of this branch, you have... Where the, it's the weakest. You have the watermelon. Okay. And that I don't make, know that why. That makes sense. But that's how it is. Because it'll be like hanging down off of a It kind of helps to like, you know, lower everything so you don't have to reach up as high. You're not going to get the, the honey spots from the bees. And you're not going to know when it's ripe. Well, maybe I'll plant like a honey... <laughs> The honey's not a fruit, so I can't grow on that branch. That's fine. All right. Um, next up, we have the sandwich okay. branch. Now, the sandwich branch, uh, these are all pre-made sandwiches that you just go and, and pick off and eat. Like, no... Like, they basically come in a Subway bag. Yeah, but I want to be able to, like, with, slip in With that. the napkin, the way that they give it to you. Well, the napkin can't grow on the tree. <laughs> and the bag can't grow on the tree. I don't know. It's a leaf. It's like a leaf, right? Well, maybe. That's kind of ridiculous. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Watermelon at the end of a branch. Okay, yeah. Um, we have the chicken sandwich. And I, I, I have a specialty chicken sandwich, which really isn't that big of a deal. Like, it's not that different than any other. But, you know. Oh, by the way, there's bacon on all these. Well, not all the sandwiches, but on the ones that, like, would have bacon. So that's the reason you may be like, whoa, where's your bacon branch? Where's your bacon branch? Uh, it's... It's just integrated into whatever, wherever it is needed. The tree intuitively will know when to put bacon on something. Okay. So, like, the chicken sandwich will absolutely have bacon. Um, the PB&J won't have bacon. Well, it might. Maybe P- someday they want P- PB&J, though. Like, I know. I know, because you have a peanut butter tree and then like, a peanut butter. You've got, you've got your your jams here. You've got yes, a peanut you butter tree. You've yes. got your carbs. Yeah. Like, you, you have to have one that specifically makes... All of those separate items into one. Into one. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. This, this I mean, tree, it, se- it seems a little lazy. I'm just saying. Well, when I'm... Well, you know what? I, I'm allowed to be lazy because it's the future and you can probably just like genetically modify your body however you want to look however you want. So maybe I won't... So this is like Wally. You're just in a hover chair just... Well, yeah, but I'm, but I'm like perfectly. Pounds. No, 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 because <laughs> because this is the this is the I they fixed they watched Wally and fixed the future. Oh, okay, so, okay. Um, you have a good Philly cheesesteak with cheese whiz. I love the provolone, but it's not the authentic Philly unless it's cheese whiz. Okay, so you can't really do anything about that. Um, and then you have a random sub that every season it'll just choose a random sub. That you don't even know what it might be, and and then it you could be like an Italian BMT or a meatball. Yeah, or... and like you'll have that year that's the off year that you'll get like the cold. I mean, you know, like something. I don't know what's the worst one. Whatever the worst one out there is, what's the worst one? What would be the worst? The sub? ham and cheese. <laughs> I just. <laughs> it was like a... like a roast beef and a. <laughs> Just that one that nobody was. Oh, not this season. Roast beef and pickles. Oh no. Oh, there's no pickles. Well, that would be that the would worst be the one. year. Yeah, yeah. That, that would be the, yeah. They would have pickles. You have no control over that. If you yes. give it a free fall, you might get roast beef and pickles. You may have to reconsider that branch. Um, <laughs> then you have then you have your carbs. You got pastas. You got pizza. You got cereal because I couldn't figure out where else to put it. <laughs> but I do eat that when I'm carb loading for the week. I do have like cereal for breakfast. Though I also have bagels. So is the is the cereal like a specific cereal? Or is it again free for all? It's somewhat a free for all, but I am going to use my determine. I, I'm going to figure it, make sure that they determine that like no cocoa puffs, no. You are not cuckoo for cocoa. Puffs. I'm not cuckoo for cocoa puffs, and also like the what's well, cookie crisp. I don't want cookie crisp. Either. You don't want cookie crisp. No. Why don't you want cookie crisp? One thing you may notice from this tree is that there is there is no chocolate on this tree, and there's a reason because I don't like chocolate. Is it a or the texture tree? of. Chocolate um, chips. Yeah, cho- chocolate chips, I just feel like, oh, they just, they don't work. I don't like them. <laughs> the most classic cookie, they I don't know. work for yeah. David Landing. Somebody should have fixed that long ago. All right. Um, and then... Oh, this wait. is your dessert, so we can move on to the dessert. Desserts. Here. This is the dessert. Oh, wait. You've heard, there's, oh, there's Gatorade. Yeah, Gatorade. There's a Gatorade branch. Because Coming <laughs> off of your carb tree. <laughs> well, you got to drink your carbs. When, when you're carb loading for a race, you got to drink some of your carbs. Because that helps, like, you just gotta get all those carbs in you and get ready for the race. And so, Gatorade, so that, I live on this this branch during carb load week. 
Now, now I'm, I'm getting a little bit of a mixed signal because you're you're in a future where you are thin because they fix I run for thing fun. from wall. You run for fun. Yeah, anyway. for fun. Like we don't have to do any of that, but you just do it. For it's fun. nostalgic. Okay, you're like ah, oh, I remember, and then you run like a hundred meters, or you're still running like your twenty six miles. Well, if I have a carb load branch, why would a carb load run a hundred meters? Because you can eat it without having any problems. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Come on. That's ridiculous. All right. Okay, on desserts. To the desserts, tree. desserts. You got your ice cream. Ice cream. You got your cheesecake. Cheesecake. You got your pumpkin pie. Pumpkin. Ooh, yeah. And you got your sprinkle cookies, which are just sugar cookies, but with like the colored sprinkles on them. And they call them sprinkle cookies. My mom used to make them. Are they sprinkles or are they jimmies? What's the difference? Like the little round. The, the same thing. Oh. That's just another name for sprinkles. I didn't know that. Now you know. The more you know. <laughs> and then you got your low hanging snack branch where you got your cheese and crackers. Cheese and crackers. Yeah. Like a good char- charcuterie. <laughs> charcuterie. <laughs> I still can't say that word. Charcuterie. Um, you got pretzels. Pretzels. You got chips and salsa. Mm. And you got your hummus, which I know I'm putting hummus on the snacks because snacks. I, I, I dip my chips in them. And then you got your Chex Mix. Because that's about all you eat. Yeah. So and that's the only food that I know that you eat. <laughs> I know. But I've actually been cutting back on my Chex Mix intake because it has a lot of sodium. And... Yeah, you wouldn't want sodium. <laughs> you don't want, like, a talky amount of sodium in your <laughs> snacks. No. In your perfect future where you don't have to really worry about any of that. Okay. But you run for fun. Look, I want to give science a challenge, okay? Okay. So, so I gave them... This, but I, but we have to also be able, before we can have this, we have to be able to be like, not have the repercussions of this. Okay. Okay. So, so that's why, that's why science has to take care of it for us. All right. Well, that's, uh, that's quite the uh, tree there. I, I, I will enjoy it when it comes to fulfillment. Do you have a tree that like, what would your tree look like? Is it, does it look like David's? Does it look like mine? Does it look like yours? I hope <laughs> it looks like yours. Maybe because... draw yours out. I want to see, I want to see what you got. Yeah. Draw it out. Take a picture. You can get to us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. In fact, here's a picture Bing. of the uh, the guy that did this. Um, what was his name? Uh, Sam, Sam Van, Van Aken. Van Aken. Um, this is this is a picture of his tree, and he kind of cataloged like where graphs go and what they are and what worked and what didn't. So like his was a lot more thought out than ours. Maybe not. Maybe mine. Yours was pretty thought out. Mine was pretty thought out. Yeah. It even had was like color coordinated and stuff. Um, yeah, so let us know. Uh, put it, put uh, something in the comments below, or, or join us over on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. You can um, tag us there, and we'd love to see your your tree of many foods. If you like what we did here, and you want to see more of uh, this show, you can click that subscribe button. You can also like and comment and and share this video with others, so others can enjoy our tree of many foods. Yeah, and make sure that uh, you uh, remember the hundred for hundred contest. Uh, we'd love to have your art over here on the wall. And to finish off this episode, we will give you a look at that TED Talk we were talking about. That this guy, like the guy who oh, actually yeah. knows what he's doing. This is going to be interesting. The Tree of 40 Fruit is a single fruit tree that grows over 40 different varieties of stone fruits, including peaches, plums, apricots, nectarines, cherries, and this year we'll know if it grows almonds. Um, throughout the, mo- the majority of the year, it's a normal looking fruit tree until spring when it blossoms in all these variegated tones of pink and white and crimson.